Hey guys, it's Julia here, and today in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do a proper downgrade to go from Windows 11 to Windows 10. Now, this is a complete proper downgrade, the right way you should do it, not like the way I did it in the downgrade experiment where I tricked the setup into upgrading to Windows 10 because there's still some, you know, downsides to doing that, and I've also noticed after even making those videos, a lot of the Windows 11 apps actually stayed installed when they shouldn't have been. So like, it's just not a very good idea. Like if you upgrade to 11, if it hasn't been 10 days yet and you want to downgrade, then downgrade. But if it's been over 10 days, you're just recommended to reinstall your entire computer. But in this video, I'm going to downgrade my computer back to Windows 10 because I've decided that Windows 10, I want to keep on my main system. I might put 11 on like my Surface. And then later on, when Windows 11 gets another feature update, I'll probably re-upgrade to 11 again, but I've decided I kind of just want to go back to 10. So I'm going to make the video showing you guys how to do that. So first you're going to go to your start menu and you're going to go to settings. And then afterwards, you're going to go to recovery. And then when you're on the recovery screen, you're going to see these options and you're going to see go back. If the version isn't working for you, try going back to Windows 10. So this will let us go back to Windows 10. So this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to click go back. Um, hopefully this will work. Yeah, it is working. So it asks you, why are you going back? I'm just going to put for other reason and say not ready yet. Because I'm not ready yet and I'm going to put this on another system. So hopefully this won't break anything. I don't think I've made many changes since I've done this. I am going to do an in-place upgrade of Windows 10 afterwards because I was having issues with my previous 10 install, but those are fixable with an in-place upgrade. So and if anything did change, I might have to reinstall some things, but I don't think I've installed much since the upgrade, if not anything. Um, next, it's asking, do you want to check for updates? Um, I'm not going to check for updates, although updates can fix a lot of problems, so it's recommended but um, I'm not going to because I do want to go back. And then it just says things you need to know. You'll have to reinstall some apps. So anything you've done since the upgrade is going to get uninstalled. Any programs you might have installed um, might get uninstalled. It just depends. And also, you know, any settings you've changed are obviously going to get reverted. Like if you changed your wallpaper or you changed a personalization setting, it might get reverted from doing this because it does restore from your windows.old so this is my windows.old or windows 10 this is what's going to get restored once i roll back it's going to roll back to this which is from the 13th of january it's going to roll back to that when, when i do the reversion it's going to do that so anything i've done within that time frame you will have to redo like reinstall you might have to even do some updates like if there is a new update for 10 released but you were on 11 you might have to run your updates just make sure it doesn't try to reinstall 11 again, because if you did tell it to install through Windows Update, rolling back, it might try and reinstall itself. So you gotta be careful. So I, it says like, are your files backed up? You sh it, this shouldn't affect them, but it's best to be prepared. Now I have another drive in here with my files on it. So if something does go wrong, if my computer corrupts, my computer breaks, I have this drive with my files. And also the fact that you could technically reinstall with windows.old method, like a worst case scenario, and you can get your files out of there if this does corrupt and you have to reinstall, but you shouldn't have to. It's very rare that a rollback is actually gonna break something. So then I'm gonna click next. And then it says, oh, if you used a password, make sure you know it, you won't be able to sign in without it. And if you've changed your password since, um, your password's gonna get changed back. So keep that in mind. I'm pretty sure that's the case. Next. Then it says, thanks for trying Windows 11. If you end up missing important security, serve security and startup, come back to Windows 11 anytime. So I could re-upgrade this to 11, like if I still have problems with 10, even after in-place upgrading, or I just wanna go back to 11 again because I feel like it, I can. Although I probably will wait for the final, you know, next release, like the next major feature update because it'll be a lot better features and probably less buggy even though i've not had any bugs i just i, I want to go back so plus i want to i wanted to make this video now before i click this because it will restart the second i click this i'm gonna have to stop the video record on my phone and show you guys what it's doing so we're going i'm going to meet you guys on there 
All right, guys, I'm on my phone now because it's going to obviously reboot my computer, but I'm going to click it. So there we go. I just clicked it. It's restarting now. Um, my camera might be dirty. Um, all right. This should be better, but pretty much what this is going to do is it's going to start rolling back to the previous version. Any changes that might have been done are going to get reverted, so keep that in mind. This should go smoothly, hopefully. This is the last day that I could downgrade, so that's why I'm doing it. Oh, okay, there we go. Restoring your previous version of Windows. This is what it did in that one video I recorded with the... um upgrading or no downgrading to windows 11 because since i did that trick to make 11 go to 10 i used just i used the rollback feature and it made it go from 10 to 11 that was pretty funny but the text is bold as you can see because it's using the windows 11 recovery which i don't know how that's going to be affected here because i didn't have a recovery partition before upgrading because i had deleted it for it to recreate the recovery I'm hoping Windows can start without a recovery partition because I might end up with a bricked system right now, which I really hope not, but <laughs> I guess we're both gonna see, or all of us are gonna see what it's gonna do, what's gonna happen when I do this. So this won't take long in my scenario because I have an NVMe SSD. It's gonna be done like any second now, but Basically, if you don't and you have a hard drive, this might be a bit slower. This might take longer to restore. So just keep that in mind when you are doing something like this. It could take time to downgrade. It may not be as fast as it is for me. So it should be done. Usually it's done by now. Maybe it's just taking longer for whatever reason because usually it finishes a lot faster. But basically windows 11 like i made my video my windows 11 review earlier today but you guys are probably going to be seeing this like another day but i like 11 but on my main system i kind of just want to have 10 on it and then use 11 on something else and i didn't want to have to do that trick to upgrade 11 to 10 on my main because that leaves a lot of side effects i also really don't want to reinstall windows so that's another reason I decided to do this. Oh, it's done. Okay, cool. I didn't want to reinstall, so this is my only option. I'm just hoping that this works. It should work, it, sh it should be fine. Um, yeah, it's booting, it's fine. Okay, good, so it does still boot. Although I'm still going to do an in-place upgrade. So, Okay, so that's normal. It's it, it's gonna do that. That's a completely normal thing what it's doing right now. This is completely normal. So keep that in mind. It's completely normal. It's supposed to do that. Where the circles get bigger and then it eventually loads. But after this is done, that'll conclude the video pretty much just to see that it worked and then the video will be over at that point. So anyways, hopefully you guys will... Um, Hopefully this will help the people that upgraded to 11, decided they didn't want 11 anymore, decided they wanted to go back to 10. Yep, we're back. So then you're gonna sign in again. Oh, that's that's great. <laughs> um, yeah, that happened. Uh, this is a side effect if you have a domain like me. Um, the, the trust relationship broke itself. Um, I'm gonna have to unplug my ethernet cable and sign in. Yeah. That's a side effect right there. That was a side effect. Uh, I, it signs in without an ethernet cable, which is really weird. I, I don't know why, but you, if you sign in with, with the ethernet cable unplugged when that issue happens, for some reason it works. But anyway, I'm gonna wait till this is done. Oh God. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> uh oh. Ah, oh, great. Lovely. My computer isn't working, guys. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, this did not go as planned. Oh no. God. Explore. 
Are you serious? <laughs> it's explore. So first I can't sign in. Now explore doesn't want to start. What? I think I know why. I had open shell um, before I it upgraded and I uninstalled it after. And I have a feeling that broke something. So this is what I'm saying. Rolling back isn't the greatest thing to do in the world. Uh, I'm gonna try and fix this. Uh, maybe I can, if, if I can open Firefox. I can, I just typed Firefox in the run box. Um, let me, oh, I don't have my ethernet cable. Okay. Uh, guys, uh, this is a problem. This is not good. This has all gone wrong. Um, okay. Open shell. I'm on my phone because I I literally cannot do anything at this point, but this is the kind of stuff you have to do. Open shell. Save. I think this is why it's bricked. Are you serious? What do you mean a newer version is installed? Did I have the beta? This is not looking too good. I have a lot of stuff to fix. But I should be able to fix it. Um, I will be back. Give me a moment. So you could see I'm in the open shell installer. I'm gonna click repair. Maybe explore will start. There we go. Okay, I fixed it. Um, I had to reinstall open shell because I had uninstalled it before. And I guess because of that, it glitched out, but it looks like everything is good now. So at this point, there are some icons moved around and messed with. So I'm going to repair and install my thing, which is by downloading the media creation tool, telling it to upgrade or just using my ISO and running setup, which is probably what I'll do. So I don't have to re-download Windows 10 again. But anyways, that's how you do it, guys. Thanks for watching. And hopefully that helps you guys. Mine only glitched because of open shell, but I did fix it. Pretty easy fix. Just reinstall it if that happens. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.